Hi everyone, this is Dr. Janet again. I am going to go over uh, once again on our project. Uh, there are the majority of you guys um, are understanding what the project is about. There really shouldn't be any confusion as to um, you know what we're doing here in this. It's basically the same concept as going into a discussion board, but you're just doing it in in groups. So, for example, for uh, week. Two, module two, I have up here on the screen what your module consists of. And so you can see here in discussion uh, two one, we have creativity and strategy. And it gives you instructions here with questions that you're supposed to be answering. Whenever you see, be sure to support your position with examples, or if you see to provide rationale or evidence. All that means is that you need to include your sources of information, and your sources of information are going to be your course book, any other course resources. Also, uh, going to the Shapiro Library, I have mentioned to several, and um, I most likely may end up sharing a video on how to use Google Scholar. If you have not ever gone to Google Scholar, um, it's actually quite simple. You're just gonna basically Google Google Scholar uh, or I believe it's uh, scholar.google.com. But regardless, you know, you'll get there. And when you go into Google Scholar, you will actually see how to connect in the settings. You can connect up to five university libraries. Uh, so you can add the Shapiro Library as one of your uh, libraries to pull information from. So as you're working on your project and you're looking for your sources of information and you need those six for your bibliography, you could just go to Google Scholar and literally you know, pull up some data there. For that reason, that's why I was recommending to several of you on your, um, either your product or your company that you're gonna be talking about, I recommend that uh, you know, find a company that's already in existence. Um, it's perfectly, perfectly fine if you want to create a company or if you want to uh, create a product. Just make sure that you're going to be able to find sources of information to back up, um, you know, what you're going to be writing about. Um, because even though you're pulling a lot of this basic information and going over your SWOT analysis as a group project, everyone is responsible for their final project and therefore you're going to need to have all that information. Now, I want to caution that um, as we say here, or as I mentioned on 2-1, this is an individual group discussion here. Any questions that you have, please click on the discussion rubric. The rubric, again, gives you your information and your instructions on what to follow so that you can earn the most possible points. Um, you're not starting with the maximum points, you're actually earning points. So if you don't meet the criteria down the exemplary column, for example, say if you forget to include your sources of information and you're not citing information correctly, or your sentence structure or grammar is poor, you're not gonna earn very many points in that area. And you have to be careful on a lot of these rubrics because there's several times where the course designers have put in the rubric that you know, you've supported different areas and segments of the rubric um, with your sources of information or your evidence. And therefore, if you don't have your sources of information listed, you're not going to earn very many points. Now, when we get down to this 2-2 final project objectives and big idea, when you go down to the group project section in the discussion board, uh, you'll see, and I've reshared this information as well as for 2-3, 2-2 final project, this is where you're gonna have your group discussion, you know, the, the, excuse me, the bulk of your conversation. Today is Wednesday, which means that we're at the halfway mark um, of our week. Uh, several of you have already started your group discussions, and that's great. There are others where maybe one person has gone into the group and is looking for their group to participate. And it's, um, as one of you had posted, uh, pretty much like crickets in there. So uh, just relate this to real world experience. Uh, what happens is as you are moving through this project, it's the same thing as if you're in the business world and you have people in your team that don't show up or you have business clients that don't um, participate. So you have to just keep moving forward with the project. So if that happens and say, I would just say give your group until tonight to start participating. If Thursday morning comes and there hasn't been any discussion other than yourself or very limited discussion, Whoever's in that group, please go ahead, 
pick your company or your product, start moving forward, start looking for sources of information and start posting information in your group discussion. Now with that said, that does not mean that um, the group should be relying on one or two people to pull all the information and then you're just going to tag along and, and you know and start participating it doesn't work that way because everything i see in the group discussion board um, will be calculated and will go towards the final project and so if you're not participating and you're relying on, on one or two people in your group to pull that information and provide the sources and stuff that, that's basically you know pushing everything on one one classmate one of your um, cohorts and it is not fair number one um, and it's not good business sense you all should be participating as a group on these projects and that's the whole idea behind doing a group project so everybody participates I understand everybody has different work schedules but um, it has been very clear uh, since this course began on what is expected I had recorded a video and already posted in the announcement area I've shared lots and lots of posts already in the group discussion and I've sent emails out to the entire class if you're not reading these if you're not watching the videos then um, there's not much more I can do so um, to hopefully uh, get rid of any confusion that's happening this 2-2 final project objectives a big idea this is where, you, like I said, you're going to start communicating in this area and start working on these goals. I've already shared information on your SWOT analysis and how to attack that. Um, again, finding your six sources. Now, when you go to this 2-3 uh, final project, this, is, this one is not a graded assignment, but you still need to be posting in here. As it says, the first milestone of this final project should be completed by the end of the module, means by the end of week two on Sunday, so that the instructor, me, can provide formative feedback. When the group posts the final version to the topic, indicate this by attaching it to a, t a post titled, first milestone final version for me to, to see. Um, basically what you would be posting here is what you guys are working on up here in your discussion to two. You're going to go to your final project in two, three, and to your dedicated discussion. So if you're group three, you're going to click on the group three that I have there. You're going to label the post, and you can select one person in your group to do this. But you're going to select, um, you know, title it this uh, first milestone final version. And then in your post, um, all I really need to see here is what you've worked on up here in your SMART goals. Basically, I need to see what your SWOT analysis involves. And I need to see, you know, obviously I need to know what the company or the product that you're going to be working on is. And you also need to share your six uh, sources of information that you and your group have decided to use. So again, only one person really needs to post in this um, final project. This is basically making sure that your entire team is on task and that you have addressed everything and you've done, you've hashed on all your discussions here and your discussion to two. Um, so hopefully that helps to clarify it. And uh, so again, on two one, this is your solo discussion like you normally would do discussions throughout this new terms. Uh, two two, this is where you're going to be having your group discussions, talking about your company. Um, again, you can create a brand, you can create a product, um, but just make sure that you can actually find sources of information on that product. Uh, it, you may be making it a little bit harder on yourself to do that, and if you're finding that you're hitting some brick walls, um, go ahead and find a popular brand. Just don't assume that because you know you, you may be drinking Coca-Cola or Pepsi, don't assume that they're doing everything correctly. There's always still a market that a popular company can go out and try to grab through their marketing and advertising campaigns. And there's a lot of data out there on companies that are already generating uh, marketing dollars, you know, and revenue. And so don't worry about it if you did pick a company that's already known. Again, if you want to create something, just make sure you're going to be able to find uh, sources of information. So um, I did see a discussion, something about um, something along the lines of like treehouse builders. Now, there are a couple popular shows that are out there on uh, TV that, um, you know, where these companies go out and they do build treehouses. So there's a good chance that you'll be able to find some information uh, relating to that. Uh, if not, 
then what you could do, your approach could be to just, you know, what is your concept? You know, what are you, what are you trying to go after in that market? So the whole idea behind this group project is what you would normally do in a group environment in your business world where you would get with your team and you would try to discuss how you're going to approach your advertising campaign. Um, you know, here we're doing it online. Honestly, in the business world, we do a lot online. We do a lot through uh, Skype and through other visual means. We do a lot through, I mean, email communication is, is really tough because you don't really know if anybody's reading those emails. Um, so really doing, um, you, you know, using software where you can have this virtual world of where you're discussing the information with your team and the group. And that's really the best. Uh, same thing with these forums. It's similar to what we would use in the business world to discuss this information um, so that you can have communication. So now um, I'm not I'm not expecting everybody to wait until the last minute, and hopefully your group is not going to wait until the last minute. Um, of course, you could keep checking back to see if there is uh, communication happening in your group. Again, come Thursday morning, if there has been very limited interaction, I just recommend that whoever is the most active in your group, go ahead and start making making those, um, sorry about that, if it popped up there. Anyway, um, start making those decisions for your group and your group's just gonna have to go on you know, with what you've decided to do um, for your group project. Um, it's, it comes down to the whole, you, know, you snooze, you lose. But those that are being proactive, it's not fair to, um, you know, to you guys when you're waiting on information and your group's not coming in. So therefore, I'm just recommending that you just go ahead and start making those decisions. And so hopefully um, this helped to, I guess, to clarify some more. Um, please don't let this be too confusing for you. It really is just a matter of trying to hash out, you know, the direction that you're going to go, you know, and what your big idea is. And like I said, your SMART goals, your SMART goals are always going to re relate back to your SWOT analysis. And I've already explained that. Uh, so hopefully this helps um, as you post in the group discussions. I am going through and I'm reading them. Some of them I am commenting on. Uh, don't worry if I'm not commenting on them yet uh, because when the time comes to grade, when I pull up each of y'all's names, um, when it comes that time, I get to see, you know, either you posted like nothing or very little or that you've posted, you know, 15, 20 times. So just make sure that you guys are, are, are working together or just moving forward so that you can get this taken care of. Anyway, I really hope that this has helped you guys to understand a little bit more, hopefully, on um, how to tackle this group project. Um, I am always available for any questions. Um, my only concern is that, uh, you know, post in the general questions section instead of emailing me. Email is only supposed to you know, be used for personal communications and personal concerns uh, because if you have a question and you post it in our general questions area, um, then the rest of the class can see that. And, you know, please check the announcement area. Please check any of the posts that I share. I'm trying to share and overshare information so that, you know, I'm trying to cover all the bases here. Um, but again, we are at a collegiate level and you guys need to start using your research abilities and it's probably pushing some of you out of comfort zone, but it's good. Um, I went through it myself and while I was going through my different college time online. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to stop here and I hope this was helpful to you guys. And thank you so much for those that are already starting to get the ball rolling. I really appreciate it. And I know your group will appreciate it too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.